Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. So we're checking out the 2021 Mustang Mach 1. All right, this is a tier three car with four purple stars. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do some test runs. I'm gonna show you exactly how to drive this car. I will show you the fastest shift pattern. I'm gonna give you some tuning advice and then we'll do a little bit of a quick review and we'll take it into live racing to see if it can win any live races. All right, so first off, let's go do some uh, let's go do some test runs. We've got a current dyno time. This car is on stage five with all of the stage with all of the fusion parts installed. I don't have any stage six yet. And this car will will run a 7.7 .7 something on the fourth mile when you max it out completely. On a stage five tune, it does around 9.375 ish. It actually beats the dyno by a little bit, but not by a whole lot. All right, so test run. This one is super easy to drive. What you wanna do is let go of the gas pretty much exactly on number one. That'll give you a perfect start. All good or perfect shifts after that and your nitrous on second. Very easy to drive, all right? Nothing to it. So let's give this one a go. Three, two, one, go. And we got second and nitrous, third. And that's it, we don't shift into fourth. Unless on stage five, if you have it tuned right, you won't shift into fourth gear. All right, when you add more parts, you might actually need to uh, shift into more gears, but on a stage five tune, you're not going to if it's tuned right. So we've got a 9.336 on this one with a dyno of a 9.375. So it is beating dyno by a little bit. Not by a lot, but we'll go ahead and do one more test run on this. Remember, anytime you change parts, you might need to retune your car. So you can't just copy my tune if your parts don't match mine exactly. But I will give you an idea of what to do when tuning this car in case your parts don't match. Three, two, one, go. Second and nitrous, third, and here comes nothing, right? Here comes nothing, no fourth gear for us on that. Now, once you get the stage six parts, you're probably gonna end up shifting into more gears, I'm not really sure. All right, so that's how you drive this guy. Now, let's talk about the tuning advice. So the first thing I did was I tuned my tires. They came all the way down to eight PSI. The next thing I did is I tuned my final drive and if I pull it all the way over to the left, it actually shows a better dyno time and it shows more EVO points, but unfortunately, this car runs slower and won't beat the dyno time if I move this all the way over here, okay? If you notice, my EVO just went up and my dyno improved, but it will not beat that dyno time. So what I did, is I moved the final drive just a little more over to the right until it hit, hit max speed for third gear. So third gear tops out right when it's crossing the finish line, and that actually allows the car to run a little bit faster. Now when I have the when I have it over here, it does look like it's an improvement, but unfortunately the car is running like uh, the car is running um, 9.5s and 9.6s instead of 9.3s so this is one of those cars that gets a little weird so even though this doesn't look as good on paper this actually makes the car run faster on stage five and then nitrous i just pulled the nitrous up until the evo points got as high as possible i tried moving the nitrous all the way over to the right but this actually works a little bit better so that's that's how i would tune this guy okay nitrous 156 over 2.9 and that's only if you're on stage 5 with all the parts installed I think it's going to be further to the right once you start installing more stage 6 parts final drive 2.17 and tire pressure at 8 psi for a stage 5 tune all right so let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about this guy just a little bit and then we'll take it into a couple of live races and see how it does there so first off, I want to say this car does beat dyno time by a little bit, but it's probably not going to be super great at live racing. You might win a couple here and there. This is not going to be one of the better tier three live racing cars. All right. Cars that beat dyno generally are the best at live. It's a very nice looking car. 
You know, it's got four stars. Now, it only has 545 Evo points on stage five. Let me see if I can figure out what it's going to get maxed out. Okay, so if you can max it out, it's going to get over 900 Evo points, which means it'll, it'll get a pretty nice chunk of respect points if you do win a live race. On stage five, the respect points are going to be kind of low because the Evo points aren't so good. So anyways, this is a pretty nice car overall. It's pretty fast, maxed out at run 7.7 .7 something. Not bad, not bad, nothing special. All right, it's kind of just a, it's kind of a nice car. It's a nice car. I wouldn't give it too much more than that. In a second, I'll try to figure out what place it comes in. Let's go ahead and race a couple guys. We'll, we'll talk about that in a minute. We'll look at the other tier, tier three cars and see how many cars are faster than it at the end of this video. But for now, let's focus on this live race. All right, three, two, one, go. Go, 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 go. Second and Nitrous. Third. Here we go with fourth, and I'm pretty sure we're not going to hit fourth. We lost that race. This is about what I would expect from this car. It doesn't beat Dino by much, so I don't expect it to win very many live races. All right, let's go back to the live lobby and try again. Maybe the next car. Maybe we'll get one or two wins. I don't know, but I don't expect to win very many. All right. This thing's probably going to destroy us. I think the Civic is a really good live racing car, but you know what? It challenged us, so we'll go ahead and take it on and see how this works out. We'll see how this works out. Three, two, one, go. Here we go with second and nitrous, third. And that's it. Are we gonna get one? Oh, we actually won. We actually won a race. Let's figure out how many respect points we just got. We got about 800, okay? 800. So I'm going to guess, since this thing has four stars, and it eventually gets up over 900 EVO points, more than likely this will probably get around 1,000. If you can max this car out, it'll probably get around 1,000 respect points per win. Somewhere in that ballpark, I would imagine. All right. That was pretty decent, actually. That wasn't a bad amount, to tell you the truth. There's not a whole lot of cars in here, so I guess we'll do this one last live race. But I'll tell you, I think you're going to win some. You're going to lose some. You're probably going to lose the majority of the live races. I, w I wouldn't say the majority, but you got to kind of figure out which cars you can and cannot race. If that makes sense. So anyways, let's go do this, and then we'll see what this ranks. Let's see where this thing ranks on the rankings. Hey, we won another one. I don't know what's up with that. It almost seems like that person let me win. But yeah, all right, we won two. Honestly, I don't, I don't think this is going to be the best live racing car. I don't think this is going to be the best, but... It might do okay. All right, that guy is challenging me back. He must actually want to swap. He probably let me win. So we're going to challenge him one more time. Let's see what he runs. He'll probably beat me this time. I think I have the swap thing in my name. So it might be someone just wanting to swap. All right, either way, yeah, yeah, he destroyed me on this run. So on the last one, he let me win. But I think there's a lot of cars that are going to beat this car on live race. Okay? Okay, so the, the fourth, the fifth, and the sixth fastest car in tier three look like they run 7.7 .7 something. So this is gonna fall somewhere in between the fourth and the seventh fastest tier three car. I don't know, very cool car, it looks really nice. I like it, nothing too special, but you know, it's a nice little Mustang overall. And I think that wraps this video up, so I will catch you guys later. See ya.